is the first expo, first edition Maiden Expo of FTCCI. I think uh, a great opportunity for both the countries. Seeing the response and seeing the uh, suggestion from the minister, definitely we will reach out to other districts and tier two, tier three cities. Welcome viewers to my startup TV. We are at the first edition of Industrial Innovation and Technology Expo 2023, which is organized by FTCCI in Hyderabad. Oh, well, what I see here is a lot of people, great stall. There's a delegation from Vietnam, and I have with me to share what's going on, how how the event went around. Uh, President of FTCCI, Ms. Anil Agrawal, sir, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. So, first reactions, uh, Pala edition, first Expo. Tell me what your thoughts are. You are seeing me. How happy I am. <laughs> Till Saul. Uh, this is the first expo, first edition, Maiden Expo of FTCCI. And uh, this is not the first. There are more to come. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that uh, our Honorable Minister Sri Jagdishwar Reddy Garu has inaugurated this expo today along with other esteemed guests from the uh, state government and from the central government, Mr. Dasari Balaya, regional passport officer was available. And uh, the kind of response which we see is tremendous. And moreover, there is a delegation from Vietnam and we have arranged B2B meetings. There were some hundred requests from our uh, participants and the exhibitors to have B2B meeting with the Vietnam delegation. So we have uh, we we are fortunate enough that during uh, the time of uh, our expo, uh, the delegation of Vietnam is uh, has visited our expo. So sir, uh, I just had a you know, chat with the vice chairman of Zizang uh, Province and uh, Mr. Tap Tap. Uh, what are the areas you think uh, Vietnam and India uh, can collaborate or work together? I feel agriculture is the main uh, area which we can collaborate. Because uh, we have taken our own delegation to Vietnam some three months back. And uh, when I when we visited there, it was just like India. We, we were not feeling that we were in some other country. And uh, moreover, they were very friendly towards Indians. And a lot of opportunities and synergies do exist between the two countries. Uh, agriculture is one, as I said, and there is pharmaceutical lot of scope is there for pharmaceuticals and also lot of scope for uh, aquaculture also so i think uh, great opportunity for both the countries and uh, and uh, such type of delegations if they come india this is the second delegation which we are hosting from vietnam uh, in the recent past there was one more delegation which we have hosted and when we visited delega uh, we took our delegation to vietnam Consul General Mr. Madan Mohan Sethi was very kind enough to host us and make all the arrangements and we have visited three provinces. We had a very good interaction meeting with them and we signed MOU with all the three provinces. Uh, sir, one, one of the uh, uh, you know suggestions that came from the minister was to take this expo into the rural India. I know it's too early. You know, it's only a few hours back, he said. So what are your first thoughts? What do you think? Yeah, I think I think that's a good suggestion. Actually, as a federation, we are already moving to the tier two, tier three cities and districts. Uh, we have done few programs in tier two, tier three cities and districts. Like we have done, uh, we have done one program on women entrepreneurship in Nizamabad, Varangal, Karimnagar, and we have done Exim program, export import management program in same Nizamabad, Varangal, Khammam. These districts we are reaching now, and I'm confident that. Uh, and uh, we were uh, we, uh, we have done one program in medak also on women entrepreneurship response was very good so seeing the response and seeing the uh, suggestion from the minister definitely we will reach out to other districts and tier 2 tier 3 cities not only for our uh, our programs on uh, uh, dis dissemination of knowledge and information but also we can think of having a small expo right? because a lot of potential is there in the districts since central government has come out with the one district one product so there is big opportunity for uh, for all of us to develop and to uh, to develop and to have uh, business opportunities in the districts. 
So you also talked about uh, agriculture being one of the key areas between India and Vietnam, and you know, with millets being, the, you know, with the millet being the focus area now, millet tier. You know, uh, where do you see that going? I mean, can we make something with that between the two countries? Yeah, there is a lot of scope because uh, Vietnamese are also health conscious, and uh, uh, millet being like uh, in the budget, our honourable finance minister said that millet is uh, uh, Shriyan. That means it's God's uh, God's son, God's food. So I think a lot of opportunities and seeing the conditions like we have been to Vietnam, we have seen there, they are typically just like Indians, very friendly towards Indians. So I think a lot of scope and a lot of opportunities are available. As a FTC say, any, anything, uh, any roadmap that you're coming up with to, you know, push for millet uh, in Telangana? Yeah, we are, we are planning one uh, program on millet also. And we are uh, discussing with uh, the uh, Indian Institute of Millet Research. And uh, some discussions are taking place and definitely we will do one program on millet. Thank you, sir. Thank you much. Thank you. Be on, on, on.